out of my body right now, Tex. Your body? This isn't your body. I stole it. Yeah, but I stole it first. I am confused. I thought your name was Lopez, and I thought you were a man. This is all so strange. I feel like my circuits are crossed, and I like it. I know how to get her out of there. Wink. Caboose, don't. Look, just go explain to Sheila, okay? All right, Tex. Now, what's it going to take to get you out of there? Well, ever since I've been a ghost, I've been watching you guys a lot. Whoa, when you say you've been watching us, does that mean you've been watching us all the time? Like, even when we're alone? Yes, Tucker. And you should be very ashamed of yourself. It's very lonely out here. Anyway, I've noticed a change in one of your guys. Caboose. A change? Like what? He's finally learned the whole alphabet? You haven't noticed that he's become increasingly aggressive lately? I have. Started about the same time Sheila got disabled and you got blown up. I tried to tell Church, but he never listens. Tucker, there's a very fine line between not listening and not caring. I'd like to think that I walk that line every day of my life. I had just finished repairing the tank when I overheard Church's plan to warn the Reds about me. I guess I'm going to do the only thing I can do. i got to warn the Reds. From what I can tell, the AI calculated the odds of survival and didn't like the results. Once Caboose turned on his radio to call Church, it took its chance. Calling private church. Come in church. And that was when he said his name was O'Malley. So the AI that was in you infected Caboose? Right. Everyone's armor has one slot for AI, and Caboose's would have been vacant. I think there are a few of his non-artificial slots that are empty, too. And before I could figure out what happened, that bitch hit with a really lucky shot. On a flash! And the next thing I know, I'm a ghost. All right, I get it. Caboose has your precious little AI. So let me guess. You're holding my body hostage until I help you get your AI back, right? Wrong. You're going to help me kill it. Ladies, it has come to my attention that we are in need of a new robot-type person. Who here wants to volunteer? Are we going on a trip? I love trips. Can we play I Spy? And the license plate game? Shut up, Donut. Please? Uh, sir? A punch buggy? This or, guy, shut up. or the alphabet with the signs game? What exactly do you mean by volunteer? Quite obviously, we are without a robot or any other type of recruit with mechanical training or dexterity. Therefore, the only solution is to turn one of you into a robot and or freaky cyborg thing. What? what? Have you gone crazy? That is the stupidest what the hell? thing I've ever heard. Cool! I vote for Simmons! I'm told the cyborg operation is a relatively simple procedure, really. What are you talking about? Where the mostly useless guts and slimy goo of the human body are replaced with the no doubt superior guts and oily goo of a robot. I'm confused. If you're lucky, you may even get a copper rectum. Sir, wouldn't it be better if we didn't do that instead of doing it? Good thinking, Simmons. But no, I like the removing the guts thing, so I think we stick with that. Yes, sir. I hate to agree with the kiss-ass, but wouldn't it be better if we just got command to send us another perfectly good brand new robot instead? Negative, meat sack. Another new robot could be reprogrammed by our enemies just as easily as Lopez. We need someone we know we can trust. Oh, fuck me. Or someone whose mental capacity is so unbelievably tiny that he could never be turned against us. Hey, pink suit, guys. I think it's somebody else's turn in the barrel. Then again, maybe we just stick with the trustworthy thing. Oh, you backstabbing ass monkeys. Now, Griff, I'll be needing some things for my medicine chest for this operation. Two quarts of vodka. Check. Eight pounds of Vaseline. Condensed. Check. An old tire iron. Preferably metric. Y you know, I might have left that in the bathroom. The latest issue of Easy Bake Oven for Kids Monthly. I'll have to check. Check? You mean we have it? Check. What? I no, not check. I mean, oh, I'll have to oh, check. Oh, it makes sense. We don't have it. I ain't got all day. I gotta get this fish. 